Yo, DJ, put a nigga back to the record, baby, and give me this right now. Hello everyone, Brian S33 here, and we're back at it again with another NBA 2K21 video. And for today's video, we're going to be doing an another trade for the Dallas Mavericks. We're going to see a few potential trades for the Dallas Mavericks that they can make right before the trade deadline. And I would say the most obvious is to get Victor Oladipo to the Dallas Mavericks. And in order to do so, you're going to have to trade Maxi and Dwight. Um, and for player's sake, I'm going to have to throw in Mason Jones and give him some picks. Two second round picks. All right, looks good. Yes, let's do this trade. Okay, now another trade that can make the Dallas Mavericks much more interesting is getting an athletic player that can play both wing and power forward from the Orlando Magic Aaron Gordon and in order to do this trade we're gonna have to give away James Johnson and a second round pick this trade only makes sense if the Magic really wants to get out of Aaron Gordon's contract in exchange for James Johnson's one year, which will expire, which per which fits perfectly with Evan Fournier expiring contract as well, which gives them Vucevic left and they could trade him for more assets over the um, off season. So if we can do this trade, let's do it. All right, let's see how our lineups looking like. So we got Luka Doncic at point guard, Victor Oladipo, shooting guard, Tim Hardaway Jr., small forward, Aaron Gordon, power forward, Krista Persingis, center. And then we got Jalen Brunson off the bench with Jason Richardson. Huh. So we got Jalen Brunson, Josh Richardson, Trey Burke. Um, hmm. I think. Yeah, I think Jason Richardson should. Oh, he only plays shooting guard and point point guard. I mean, I could change his position. Let me see. Because I would rather have Jason Richardson over Tim Hardaway Jr. That way you have Luka Doncic doing all the plays, Victor Oladipo and Jason Richardson playing defense, and you got Aaron Gordon taking flight and Chris Epperson is shooting three-pointers to stretch the floor. And I think this would be a good lineup. I mean, you could also have Tim Hardaway Jr., but I think off the bench he's just much better. He could provide 20 points off the bench. And unfortunately, Jalen Brunson will have to come off the bench, which honestly, he's like a true point guard. Sir. So I would rather have him coming off the bench. How many points is he scoring? About 10 points per game. Yeah, yeah. And since, yeah, I would rather have that lineup. That we have J Jalen Brunson, Tim Hardaway Jr., Trey Burke, Willie Colley Stein, and maybe Bojan, Boban? Hmm. Maybe we need another power forward. I'll check out the free agency. I wonder if there's any good power forwards in free agency right now. No, it's pretty weak. 
Unless you want to get Paul Gasol. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. We don't really need a power forward. All right, so uh, I'll go to the end of the season and then uh, we'll go to the playoffs, hopefully. Okay, here we are at the end of the season and MVP is Giannis Antetokounmpo. Rookie of the year, LaMelo. Six man, Precious. Defense of the player of the year, Giannis. Most improved, Christian Wood. And coach of the year, Savan Gundy. I don't know why this game loves to put the Pelicans as if they're going to be in playoff contention, but because of that, I mean, they always put Savan Gundy. But anyways, let's continue. Hey, Luka Doncic. He's all NBA first. Anyone else? Nope. That's fine. Okay, so we're looking at four seed for the Dallas Mavericks. Not bad. Ooh. I mean, I ex I don't expect Minnesota Timberwolves to make it, but NBA 2K is going to be NBA 2K, you know? Any other surprises here? I mean, Orlando, we traded f for Aaron Gordon. Interesting. They still made the playoffs. All right, well, anyways, let's look at, at our stats for the season. So we got Luka Doncic at 30 points per game, and I'm surprised he didn't get the MVP award. Uh, Chris Porzingis, 20, Oladipo, 16, Aaron Gordon, 15, Tim Hardaway Jr., 12, Josh Richardson, about 12, Jalen Brunson, 11, and then we got all the other bench players. Hey, Mason Jones did really well. Five points. Nice. All right. Well, let's get started with... Oh, my God. It's a Texas rivalry. The Houston Rockets made... Oh, that's right. The Houston Rockets is not supposed to make it. We traded for Victor Oladipo. We only gave him James Johnson in a second-round pick, if I, if I remember. Oh, no, sorry. It was the opposite. We gave James Johnson to Orlando, and we gave our two centers over to the Rockets. Okay. Interesting. Maybe they filled in for Christian Wood coming off the bench. I mean, John Wall is a good point guard. He facilitates a lot more. Interesting. All right, let's just simulate this, because I don't believe they have enough firepower to even beat the Dallas Mavericks, especially with Christoph Porzingis in the team. Oh my god. <laughs> we barely beat them. Okay, Luka Doncic went off. So did Jalen Brunson. What happened to Christoph Porzingis? Is Christian Wood really that... Oh my god, 20 points. Eric Gordon... Are you not also considering getting Eric Gordon? But I don't think his three-year contract would have made any sense for the Dallas Mavericks. And John Wall did average numbers. How in the world? I guess it was a group effort. Okay. Well, now we're... Ooh, the Lakers did not make it. The Utah Jazz beat them. Um, so we're going to go against the Los Angeles Clippers. Yeah, uh, wow. Yeah, it has to be the defense on Luka Doncic. Yeah, he's he's only scoring 24 points as opposed to Kawhi Leonard's 34 points, Lou Will. I mean, Paul George is going to do average numbers, I think, during the playoffs. Interesting. So let's simcast this. I'm hoping that the Mavericks can put up a fight because, I mean, they should be able to beat the Clippers. Ah, <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, it's not that bad. No, it's pretty bad. Wow. So even if you made trades to get better players, we would still lose out to the Clippers. Did the Clippers make any... Interesting moves. Let me just look at it real quick. 
No, they have the same exact players. The only difference is Lou Williams and Kawhi Leonard goes off during the playoffs. Which is interesting because we have both Josh Richardson and Victor Oladipo. I just think it's NBA 2K just being um, dumb, you know? All right, well, let's just simulate the playoffs. I have a feeling... Wow. Okay, I was... I was going to say, the Clippers should be winning, <laughs> especially after the trades we made. Oh, my God. Dude, Kawhi Leonard is clutch. If he could pull this off this season, he'd be right in the uh, conversation for GOAT again. But if you take a look at our, the trades that we made, so we got Victor Lodipo coming off the books and Tim Hardaway Jr. The only one that's not coming off the books is Aaron Gordon at 16 mil. But Aaron Gordon should be fine because he's like 25 years old. Um, I don't know if Victor Lodipo will sign again with the Dallas Mavericks. I think, if anything, he would probably sign with Miami Heat after this season. And with Tim Hardaway Jr. being off the books, I mean, that leaves a few possibilities for the offseason. But anyways, this was uh, not great, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I was expecting the Dallas Mavericks to go into the finals at the very least. Well, anyways, let me know how I did down in the comments down below. Again, subscribe, hit the notification bell for the new videos coming out. I believe the next video I'm going to be doing is the Portland Trailblazers. And since they have so many assets, it's going to be a lot easier to be able to make a big trade. As opposed to Dallas Mavericks because they're a much younger team. And they don't have enough players to play around with. Anyways, um, that'll be it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.